Yo, JP Nation! How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's your boy Maxim as usual back with another video. And today we're diving deep into the new characters I see in Cheng Li to help you decide who to summon for. This video will break down some of their strengths and weaknesses and overall value to your team. Now, I'm not going to be going in depth on each skills and everything because I made a separate video just for that, so this video is going to be touching the surface and maybe help you decide on which characters to summon for, so if you want to in-depth sort of like explanation for or breakdown for their skills, go ahead and pause this video, go watch those breakdowns and decide for yourself, otherwise uh, stay, stick around and watch this video, and with that being said, let's get started. Welcome back, Administrator. First up, let's talk about ZZ. If the translation is correct, she's essentially just like Yin Lin, and trust me, she's a game changer. Says he is by the far highest value of the four new characters that are coming up in my opinion. What makes her stand out? Well, she takes almost no field time and delivers massive amount of off-field DPS. Her skill damage and broken down Glacio Arthro are simply phenomenal. She is a must-have in my opinion for any team looking to maximize their DPS without sacrificing field time. Her ability to stay off field while dealing consistent damage makes her incredibly versatile and also efficient. Basically to break it down or simplify it even more, in my opinion it depends on which team you're going for. So if you summoned for Shi and you want to add those extra uh, DPS or sub DPS character for your team, she can work very, very good. And she can provide such a good value for, um, for your team. The second one is going to be uh, Cheng Li, so let's shift our focus to her. At first glance, you might think she would sing singularize well with the Encore, but that's not quite the case. Cheng Li doesn't do any off-field DPS, which means if she's not on your screen, she's not contributing much. Plus the buffs uh, she provides are outclassed by San Hua in both duration and value. So her liberation skill is also like quite niche, making her a bit picky about her teammates. For future setups, Shang Li either needs to be the main DPS with a sub DPS buffing her skill, basically like ZZ, or she needs a main DPS with short rotation and a big burst that doesn't require field time because Shang Li wants that field time for herself. So, who you should summon for? If you want consistent high value off field DPS with minimum field time, this he is you, your way to go. And if you're into her playstyle, she's a no brainer. Shang Li, on the other hand, requires more specific team setups and field time to be effective. And also, if you have the right build for her and you're planning to use her as your main DPS, then go for her. For her. And also, the game style is amazing for her. I just made uh, sort of like a, a damage sort of build. A video go watch that uh, it will help you a ton to like with this decision if you're into that so a quick note on the other new characters just as Jing Li and Ik Shang Li I don't know if Ik, Ik Shang Li is going to be an like a five stars or four stars that's not confirmed yet and also uh, we don't know if he's going to be provided as free or not there are some speculations that he's going to be free but Jing Shi is currently hard to power creep due to her massive numbers but she provides just one utility free intro if her numbers get surpassed she might fall off unless you use her as a sub dps damage bot on the other hand gently yeah well let's just say he was designed to challenge uh safe Roth players and leave it at that to be honest with you in sort of conclusion for me right now i would um choose based on my playstyle and also the team that i want to like build uh, for the future proof because you have a lot of uh, content to go through such as like the uh, tower there is the holograms and everything and in my opinion just focus on enjoying the game and which character you enjoy the best because the holograms do kind of provide some sort of um some, some sort of like value but if you want to like to do them just to gain asterisk or another they're not going to be to providing you like a lot of like rewards for it and also like the tower is the most important thing so if you have the right team for the right characters um i think you should uh decide based on that so if you have shang lee 
um, in mind and you have the right team rotation such as Jixia and other characters uh, that can work well for her, go for it. If you have Jin Qi and you're looking for the new Yin Lin without the extra field time or whatever, this he is your way to go. And if you want to like to build up a crazy damage dealer such as Xing Li Yao um, that is speculated to be free, we're not sure yet, then then go for it. So it's the decision is is based on your play style like and which character you enjoy the most especially that their game styles are out there right now and you can watch it uh, on youtube or on the uh, on twitter or whatever so there you have it cc is the clear winner in my opinion uh, so far because i have the um the right team for her and and, and in my opinion she has efficiency and high dps Shang Li can work but she's a bit more demanding in terms of team compositions and field time make your choice wisely like i said earlier and um yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know why you're summoning for each character if you decided um, based on animations, playstyle, if you have the right teams for it, if you have Encore and you want to like to build her even more, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. And um, good luck with summoning. I hope you guys enjoy the game. That's the main important thing. And everybody is entitled for their opinion as well. I want to like to make that clear. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.